Hi everybody and welcome back to Cooking with Mark and today we're going to make bacon wrapped pork chops and buttered pasta with a little bit of parmesan uh, cheese on top. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fry up the pork chops just a little bit. Um, you don't want them to be completely cooked. You just want them just a little bit to get the, the brown on them. Slightly brown. After we get that, then we're going to add the seasoning. I already have my seasoning. You can add your own personal seasoning. Mine is a smoked rub. You're going to coat the pork chop with that. And then you're going to wrap the bacon around it. And then you're going to fry it up. So here we go. So the first thing we're going to do is add a little bit of virgin olive oil into the pan. Just enough to coat the bottom. Put this on a medium high heat. And as I said, we're just going to coat these slightly. Now, on a side note, for those who have been trying to get to my website and see any new videos, there seems to be a little bit of a problem with the website. I've been working on it with the web host. I've yet to get any response from them yet. As soon as I do, I will let you know what's going on. Um, in the meantime, you can still find the videos on my YouTube channel as well as my Facebook page and my Twitter account. Um, all the old videos are still on my website. I just haven't been able to upload any of the new videos. I think there's like three or four that I'm missing. Hopefully in the next couple weeks I'll be able to get those uploaded and get the website all fixed. So as I stated, we're just going to brown these just slightly. Now you notice I didn't put a lot of uh, virgin olive oil in this. That's because I just wanted enough because what's going to happen is when you put the bacon in here, the bacon is actually going to, the grease from the bacon is actually going to let's cook these. So now would be a good time for you to actually do the uh, boil the water for your pasta. It's, all it is just spaghetti with butter and um, Parmesan. When my daughter was little, that she didn't like spaghetti sauce, so what we would do is we would make spaghetti with butter, and that's how she ate it. Um, some people don't like sp uh, spaghetti sauce. Other people do. I think for this right here, the butter and the Parmesan would be perfect for it. So these are exactly what I wanted. They're just getting a slight brown on them. Because they are thick pork chops, that's why we're browning them slightly. So after they get that slight brown, like I said, it's a very, very slight brown. You're going to take them off the heat and all you're going to do is just throw them into the pan or into the bag like so just to coat them. <laughs> now, after you get them coated, as you can see, they're, they're nicely coated. Not a lot, just enough to give it that little bit of flavor. 
Now, if you wanted to do uh, garlic, uh, salt, and onion salt for your coating, you could do that with a little bit of pepper. Um, so after you get these coated, you're simply going to take your bacon and just wrap these. When you get done, they should look something like this. Now they are completely wrapped. There is two toothpicks to hold them into place so that the bacon doesn't fall off them. And then you're just gonna put them in back in the pan. Now I have them back in the pan. We're gonna put them on a medium heat. And with the pasta, I'm just simply breaking it in half. And I've only made enough for two because it's just uh, my friend and I who are making or who are having dinner. And then we're going to put this on a low. And you're probably wondering why all the bacon is in there afterwards. Well, I didn't want the bacon to go to waste. So I'm actually cooking up the bacon because he's going to use it in a salad. So whatever's left over, he'll take. So we're gonna let this sit for a little bit. So uh, we flip these once. You just wanna keep, make sure you keep flipping these just so they can cook evenly. Now the pork chop will not take that long to cook. It's the bacon that actually will take a little bit longer. However, these are thicker pork chops, so they may take a little bit longer. So if you wanted to crank up the heat a little bit, you could do that. Just don't put it on high, especially on a metal, on the, um, a nonstick pan, because it, it will ruin the pan. And I've got the pasta cooking while we're at it. on there now while the pork chops are almost done we are going to do the pasta so on the pasta you're just going to drain it and then you're going to add a half a stick of butter and you're going to Mix that all around so that the butter coats all of the pasta. You can see it. Get the butter melted really good. The more coated the, uh, the pasta is, the better the parmesan is going to stick. So we've already got a lot of this coated, but we're going to continue to let the half a stick of butter melt in there. And don't worry if they're a little brown. And then we're just going to cut this open to make sure. And all you're doing is just cutting this to get the, the heat inside. And then you're going to put the cover back on. And we still have this on a medium heat.
we're going to turn this on to a low just to get the melted butter or the butter melted in there. So the pork chops are done, the pasta is done, the butter's melted. All you're going to do with the pasta now is just simply add about a half a cup, maybe a quarter cup of Parmesan to it, just so it coats it. So it should look something like this. And we are all set. So when you get done, it should look something like this. Now we're gonna garnish it with a little bit of color. All you're gonna do is just take a little bit of parsley and sprinkle it on to the pasta. Just like so. And there you have it. Um, this was cooking with Mark. Uh, it was bacon wrapped pork chops with a butter and Parmesan pasta. It's just spaghetti. It's thin spaghetti with butter and a little bit of Parmesan in there mixed in. Um, this will be up on my website. It'll also be up on my cooking page. It'll be on Facebook and it'll be up on my YouTube and my Twitter account. Uh, once again, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. However, keep in mind, I'm still having trouble with my website. So if you have any issues, you can reach me at on my YouTube channel or my Facebook cooking channel. Thank you. Have a good day now.